Subtraction for ages 10 to 11. Subtraction is, of course, the inverse of addition. For example, because 6,200 plus 3,800 makes 10,000, then 10,000 take away 6,200 must be 3,800, and 10,000 minus 3,800 must be 6,200. The children will still work on operations involving two-digit, three-digit, four-digit, and even larger numbers, and they will continue setting numbers out in columns. So, for example, looking at this question... 345,217 minus 29,848. The children have to be certain to put the numbers in the correct columns. It's good to encourage the children to set the numbers out so that they're neatly arranged in columns with the numbers clearly one above the other. This question here is obviously arranged so that the units are in line and the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, the ten thousands and the hundred thousands all neatly in line. Always starting at the right hand side. Seven take away eight. We haven't got enough units so we're using the only ten. That gives us ten extra units. Seventeen take eight is nine units. We've got no tens. To subtract four tens, we'll have to use one of the hundreds. Ten take away four is six tens. We haven't got enough hundreds, so we'll use one of the thousands. Keeping four thousands, we've now got eleven hundreds. Eleven take away eight is three hundreds. Four take away nine, we haven't got enough thousands, so we'll use one of the ten thousands. Fourteen take away nine gives us five thousand. Three ten thousands take away two ten thousands gives us one and three hundred thousands. We're not taking anything away, so we can keep the three. Final answer, 315,369. This type of subtraction can seem very difficult, but there is a clear system. We always start at the right-hand side, so zero units take away nine units. We haven't got enough units, because there aren't any, but there aren't any tens, there aren't any hundreds, or thousands, or ten thousands. We've got to go all the way to the six hundred thousand. Using one of the hundred thousands leaves us with five hundred thousands. That gives us 10 for that column, so that's 10 in the 10 thousands. Use one of those, leaves us 9, gives us 10 there. Use one of those, leaves 9, 10, 9, 10 tens, leaves 9 tens, gives us the 10 units. Then the question is remarkably simple. 10 take away 9 is 1, 9 take away 1 is 8 tens, 9 take away 4 five hundreds, 9 take away 3, six thousands, 9 take away 7, 2, 10 thousands. And five take away two, three hundred thousands, three hundred and twenty six thousand five hundred and eighty one. The children are also able to calculate the smaller numbers involving decimals. Looking at questions such as two point three minus one point six nine, they will know how to use columns to find the answer. Two in the units, decimal point three. One in the units, decimal point six nine. It's a subtraction. Let's put a point ready for the answer there. It's a lot easier if we put a zero there. 2.30 is the same value as 2.3. These are the hundredths, the tenths, the units. We always keep the units in line. Zero hundredths take away nine hundredths. We haven't got enough, so use one of the tenths. That leaves us with two tenths, gives us ten hundredths. Ten take away nine is one. Two tenths take away six tenths, We'll have to use a unit to make some extra tenths. 12 take away 6 is 6. And 1 unit take away 1 unit is a 0. Final answer, a 0 0.61. The children need plenty of practice. With practice, they will be able to answer some questions almost instantly. But confidence in knowing how to find the answers to more difficult questions is the key to mathematical success.